So because this process uses photosynthesis to make the image, the plant needs carbon dioxide and water to achieve that. So we're going to produce the carbon dioxide by mixing bicarbonate of soda with water and dipping the cloth into the solution. And it needs to be really quite wet because when the leaf is exposing, the heat from the lamp dries out the material. The stem of the leaf needs to go past the edge of the glass because it needs a water source. So when you pick the leaf, don't pick it too short. That's the exposure setup, and then you expose it for about 22 hours using electrical light. So I, um, I started, my undergraduate degree was in molecular medicine, so I was always interested in cell biology. And um, I then went to study art and science at Central St. Martins, and that's where I developed an interest in experimental and chemical photography, which was essentially fusing my interest in cell biology with art. In terms of historical photography, that's where I started out with cyanotype and um, salt printing processes. And for me, it was about the alchemy of the process. So um, relying on natural materials to actually conjure the image. Okay. So first step is to take the exposed leaf and dip it in boiling water. This kills the leaf and it loosens up the cellular structure so that we can process it. And you'll see the little bubbles come from the underside of the leaf. We then create a bain marie using methylated spirits. And we put the exposed leaf in the solution and allow it to heat. It can take about between 20 and 40 minutes I put a lid on top to make the process go quicker. The chlorophyll has been drawn out of the leaf. You remove it, and you've got a sort of white, glassy structure that is quite fragile. It can easily break. We then wash it with distilled water, deionized water, um, and then we're going to develop it using iodine. Essentially, photography of all the art forms is inherently scientific. Um, so it made sense for me to uh, subsume my interest in science with art into this experimental photographic process. But I'm looking more now into anthropology and how photography and anthropology can combine, um, how photographs can be used to do anthropology and how anthropology can use photography um, in its own research methods. In order to fix the photograph, we need to dry the leaf out. Uh, otherwise, the photograph is ephemeral and it fades away once the reactants inside the leaf have run out. So I take the leaf out of the solution, the developing solution, and I essentially put it under a lamp light, which dries out the photo when the image actually um, materialized, um, it still really affects me uh, because there's a certain majesty to the complexity of what's going on here biologically.